I had a great question I, during an interview recently about, hey, how big is the entertainment industry? Will that have a big impact on the economy if all these events are canceled, sports are canceled? Guys, it's not about how big the entertainment industry is. It's about what else it impacts. That's what's coming up right now. My name is Mike Bernard. I am the host of the Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smash that thumbs up button. Every single business day, I'm coming to you with a daily update, a daily financial nugget, something you can apply in your financial life to improve it. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. All right, so I do a live interview on the radio uh, every Friday, and I was asked last Friday by my good friend John Zimney at 95.3 MNC, hey, Mike, in, the, in our area, all sorts of events are canceled. The county fair is going to be canceled. This event is canceled. Jazz Fest, that's canceled. There's questions about um, will Notre Dame have a football season but no, no fans or half fans. What, how big is the entertainment industry if all these events are canceled? Is that going to be bad on the economy? What a great question. What a great question. We're, regardless of where you're watching this in cyberspace, I, I am, our office is three miles from Notre Dame University, okay? And I don't know if you've heard about that, uh, that school, but they've got a pretty big football program. And at least for the local economy, it is booming in the fall. When Notre Dame is playing, there's just energy around this city. And during a home game or a home weekend, we get hundreds of thousands of people that come to South Bend, that come to our area. And guess what they do? Do they, do they, do they drive in on their buggies or, or ride their bikes in and then just sit on the ground? No, they fly in, they stay in hotels, they eat at local restaurants, they shop from local grocery stores, they spend a bunch of money, they, they buy Notre Dame merchandise, right? And that's just a small thing. We've got locally, we've got county fairs, and regardless of where you're watching this, you've got the same thing. Maybe not the Golden Dome where you're at, but you've got the same stuff. You've got maybe a college town, maybe you've got industry, maybe you've got festivals, maybe you've got stuff, and it's being canceled right now because of rising cases. Will that have an impact on the economy? Here's the thing, the entertainment industry alone, it's industries, sectors, economy, okay? Industry, sectors, market. So the industry is small. Entertainment is fairly small. I mean, relatively, compared to energy, compared to real estate, you know, entertainment small. But like I just shared with that example of, you know, Notre Dame playing football games, so it's televised and there's gonna be a score, but the fans will not be allowed to sit in the stadium or it will only be half full. The rumor as of right now is that they'll let students in, they'll let uh, parents in, they'll let some faculty in. Uh, I don't know. I, I, by the time you're watching this video, there could be more rumors. They could be canceling the season completely. I, I have no idea. But um, if that's the case, the, the entertainment industry will take a hit. But so will the hospitality industry because people aren't going to be um, staying in those hotels. So will the restaurant industry because people aren't going to be eating out as much. So will the energy industry because people won't be jumping in their planes or jumping in their cars to drive. Airbnb, we've talked about, that's hospitality, but tons of people around Notre Dame rent out their houses for Notre Dame weekends. If people aren't coming in, oh, Airbnb isn't gonna get their little slice. Insurance companies won't get their little slice of that. So this has an enormous ripple effect throughout the economy. It's much, much bigger, bigger than just the entertainment industry. This is why the stock market is connected to the overall economy. Those are two different things. The economy is the actual activity, the commerce, spending money, right? That's the economy. The stock market is just a measure of how valuable are these businesses, okay? But they're ultimately very, very connected. And that's why the stock market used to be, before all the government stimulus, used to be very, very sensitive tied to the economic activities. We have a disruption in the economy such that we can't even fathom exactly how this is gonna turn out. And the stock market's actually done a pretty decent job being resilient to that. 
that's where I've been cautious and been warning you that, hey, we might see a lot of volatility still ahead with the stock market because the economy is still very, very, very fragile. Again, depending on what headlines you've heard, I, I, there's some people, there's, I, I heard recently one of the best safeties in the NFL said, football is not an essential business based on right now in these rising cases, we should not have a season at all. And I understand that, but Philadelphia's com uh, commerce, Detroit's commerce, the activity in those areas and, and the ripple impact of not having a season, season would be significant. So we're still, we still have a very disrupted economy. The stock market's done a good job being resilient. What's entered into that gap is the Federal Reserve and Congress with different stimulus. So continue to keep your eye open for that, but just brace yourself for more uncertainty. All right. Speaking of, to make sure you're prepared for uncertainty, your financial plan is what anticipates future changes and so on. So make sure you're talking to your CFP to make sure you're prepared for uncertainty ahead. You can always reach out to our CFPs and our team at Corhorn Financial Group. Find us online. Corhorn.com, that's Corhorn with a K, or send us an email, info at Corhorn.com. All right, have a great and safe 4th of July weekend. You're now ready. Go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.